So let me give some quick examples. One of the exercises I do is I'll sit with uh, boards of directors of public companies and I'll say, well, let's take your last quarterly earnings report out and let's just pick five things that were board decisions that you know, made it in that quarterly earnings report. So let's say one of those things is you've decided that you're going to um, uh, grow organically um, or maybe on the other hand, you decide you're going to grow through merger and acquisitions. So I was working with a, a regional bank in the Midwest and they decided they were going to grow through acquisition and they said as long as the acquisitions are accretive, we're going to probably do you know, half a dozen to a dozen of these over the next 12 to 18 months. I said, okay, did you do any cybersecurity due diligence as part of those acquisitions? No. Why would we do that? Well, because when you acquire another company, you're now acquiring their past, their present, and their future cyber risk. And by the way, the best practice is to connect the networks after you buy them. If either of those networks is infiltrated, now everything's infiltrated. So we have to start thinking not as cyber as kind of this side techie thing. We have to really start thinking about it as just like you'd ask the question of what is the, what's the cost implication uh, you know, of whatever that new decision is, what's the cyber risk implication as well? And so I think we have to change our mindset around cyber and we have to make it so we're thinking about it as every business decision. And for instance, I know in media, there's lots of digital transformation projects going on. And those digital transformation projects are great and it's, you know, it's allowing media to reach you know, a bigger audience and, uh, and change and evolve business models in new and interesting ways. But at the same time, any time you make something more digital, by nature, you're increasing your attack surface, right? And your dependency on connected technology and the devices that connect up to that. So as part of all those digital transformation projects, one of the important things is to say, well, how's that changing our attack surface and what are we proactively doing about it? So those are the, the types of dialogues now that this is over in the private sector that, that have to change and that have to happen.